welcome, man. Uh, my name is Drake. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, so okay, thank you yes, for you know, uh, just joining us for this Community Voices program. Um, I'm not going to hold up too much of your time, so I just kind of wanted to jump straight into it and, you know, kind of, okay. uh, you know, just just talk it through. But first, um, one, congratulations on your decision and everything. But um, as being uh, the, you're highly regarded as the number one pick and, you know, right. widely across the nation, um, staying right. at the top, like, what are the, how does it feel and what's your motivation of staying at the top? I like to say thank you. Like, I appreciate it. Uh, to answer your question, I just say just what I just got doing. You know, working hard, just staying in the gym, making sure I stay motivated. Just just yeah. use different things to keep me motivated, like my team, <clears throat> gotcha. winning games and stuff like that. I love well, honestly, that. different stuff like that. Like in my mind, keeps me motivated. And just the main thing is, like I said, working hard. That's most yeah. important. Yeah. What do you do when the when the when the days arise and you just don't feel like doing it? Like, <clears throat> what keeps you going there? Uh, I say just, like I said, thinking about, like, my teammates and stuff like that. Because there's plenty of them days when I don't feel like getting up. Or I don't right, feel like right. going to the gym because I'm tired. Right. Or maybe I don't feel, just don't feel like getting out of bed. But I, I know I got to. You know, that's what comes with it. Exactly. So I say just stuff like that. Thinking about my teammates, winning games and stuff like that. Got you. Knowing, knowing, knowing I have to take them sacrifices. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, growing up in a household where your father and grandfather were professional players, uh, what right. is a two part question? Uh, one, what was your childhood like? And then also, was there an expectation that you follow in, in their footsteps? Uh, you know, I had I had a great childhood. You know, they never really pressured me to play like a certain sport, anything like that. Like when I was younger, I played football as well. I was football, basketball. So I really just had a lot of fun when I was younger. And they never really, like you said, they never really pressured me to play the sport. They let they really let it fall into my hands and let me decide when I really wanted to take it serious. But when I made that decision, they was definitely there and told me like like it wasn't going to be easy and yeah. definitely showed me the ropes and showed me the steps. Got you, got you. Yes, sir. Yep. Um, yeah. And then what advice do you give for the kids in a similar situation to you um, with like managing uh, the fame and everything? Right. I say just just have fun. What we're doing it for like. It's really something I love to do. I'm doing something I love to do. So I never really look at it as being famous or playing for like attention or not like that. So I say just really stick to being them, stick to being themselves and remember what they're doing it for. Yeah, no, I love that. Uh, the mm -hmm. next question I have is uh, why Kentucky? Uh, I pick Kentucky, you know, just how comfortable I was going out there on the visits and stuff like that. Just, just knowing that I could trust Coach Kyle and really just trust what he said. And just the environment, like the feeling going out there. Feeling out there felt like I was at home already. Got so I see really just how comfortable I was in the environment and seeing uh -huh. how well Coach Kyle, like, talks to his players and stuff like that and coaches his players. Yeah, no, that's important. Uh, it feels like a family environment, I assume, right? Yeah, yes, sir, most definitely. You know, I definitely got – I got a brother on that team. You know, my brother that I grew up with, you know, in the same okay. household. So that right there is, like – like an exclamation mark. Like yep. that, that's like a main factor. That, that was one of the main factors that I took into account going there. You know, my brother out there. So that's going to make it even feel more like, like I'm at home because I'm going to be with him. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that yeah. helps a lot. That helps a lot. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. So what are you most looking forward to about this next stage of your life? Uh, Really winning. Like, like that's the main goal, really, is just trying to go out and win as much as I can. Cause the atmosphere, you know, the fans out there, the atmosphere out there, it reminds me of home, of home a lot. Like at my high school, cause they definitely very supportive and they're definitely very passionate about sports. So I see, I really just can't wait to get out there and play in that atmosphere. Got you. Yeah, I'm excited to tap in too, man, and catch some games. Yeah. It's gonna be yes, a sir. Um, yes, sir. And this is the last question I have, um, and this is more so regarding the community voices portion. Um, so you chose Operation Warm as a charity right. for this. Uh, what about them attracted you to support their cause? Uh, you know, just seeing, like, the, how much experience they have with professional athletes and just seeing that they would like to give coats back to, to kids and stuff like that just played a very important part. Just knowing that's always been something I wanted to do was give back. So choosing right. them... And seeing how much experience they had definitely made me confident and, and using and I say collaborating with them to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Yes, That's nice. 
Well, man, sure. that's all I have, man. But uh, one, thank you again for jumping on. Um, and sure. thank you for having. Me. Of course, of course, I know for you. Having me. So I, I thank you, and um, yeah, I look forward yeah. to hopefully we working in the future with you, man. So yes, sir. It. And um, best of luck to the season, and happy holidays to you.